All right, guys, so let me show you what I did for this video, which is to create a skeleton button. The, the reason why I only created the bottom piece and not the hands and the head is because I'm learning through this process. I'm trying to get the, the rotations just right. And I've been doing a lot of testing and it hasn't been as easy as I thought. So for this one, what I did is I'm, I'm basically matching up exactly what the robot is. So if you go under prefabs, and then robot and then add the robot to the scene you're gonna be able to see what i what i have so far so what i have right now is basically the both of the legs the left and right leg and also part of the skeleton i i'm gonna do the next the the left and right hand and head on the on the next video but i want to show you what i did as far as like the the components so i have a new skeleton prefab which is of course under prefab like skeleton and it's called a skeleton bottom. I'm also gonna create a skeleton top and it's gonna include both hands and the head. And then at the end, at the final video, we'll have one that is just called a skeleton. And you can use that as a placeholder. And right now, what I did is I, I created a cube and then that cube is basically what you see on, on my prototype. So let me go ahead and resize this. And, and I use Pro Builder to, to build this. So. If you look at the setup right now, I'm trying to make sure that it matches exactly what we have on the on the robot. So if you look at the root, you can see the skeleton button has a root. And then if you look in here, it has a root and everything is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So it's really important that we keep everything as consistent as we can. If you look at the other root, everything is just clear. And then if we look at the hips, you know, everything is clear. The hips here have a, have basically an offset because I'm, I'm basically positioning the robot on the side so that you can see both but normally it's just a zero 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 the the other things that i also have if you look at the rotation of the left up up leg everything matches up there's few differences but i would make sure that you follow my example because i've been testing with that quite a bit so i have the left up leg and also the the right up leg and then the rotations in here are really important because if you don't have them right it's just not going to work right Make sure that you follow the rotations on X, Y, and Z. Also the one for right. And also the spine as well, which is a 90 and 90 Y and Z. And then, you know, everything that I have in here, it's basically a cube. And those are the components that you're seeing. So I have a cube for each part of the spine. This is just so that I can actually rotate. So if I were to rotate this component, for instance, everything rotates with it. If I were to rotate the entire spine, everything rotates with it if i do that everything rotates so it's really important that we keep those you know as close as you can to what i have and then the same thing with the legs like if i wanted to you know move the leg if i wanted to move to that side if i wanted just to move it around it's basically going to be moving in the direction that i have set so if i move on z you can see that it's moving up and that's basically going to mimic what i have in you know what we get from air kit and air key sense to us so that's basically what i have i'm going to be doing of course the the other parts of the spine so if we keep going deep into the spine on the rubber you're going to see that we're going to hit at some point we're going to be hitting the neck and then the right shoulder left shoulder and so on so those are going to be things that i'm going to be adding on the next video for now this is going to this is going to just contain you know the the both parts of the just the bottom part which is the skeleton and the two legs and also the the feet so the next thing that i want to show you is i also updated the ar human body tracker and that one it's pointing to the skeleton button if you look at the skeleton button it now has also a human bone controller which is pointing to the root so if we look at that component here and let me just make sure that i got updated correctly this one i don't want it to say fake root let me go ahead and change this to be just root and then the same thing with what i have inside and then let me make sure that i apply the changes let's just close out of this and then we can go here and make sure that it did get applied and that it got applied okay so that's basically how that works let me see and make sure that i did download the the video for the demonstration which is at 3.12 a.m. and yeah, it is late, I know. <laughs> so this is a demo, you know, showing a couple of cubes and, you know, how they rotate. I basically rotating around and 
you know everything everything seems to be working so that's everything that i wanted to show you today i'll continue on and show you a different video of doing the left shoulder the right right shoulder you know including the hands and also the head so that's everything i wanted to show you guys thank you